Welcome everyone, Cliff from Advanced Diagnostics. I'd like to share with you a tip that's going to help you in the event that you cannot log into your My Keys Pro homepage. Now, if you're not familiar, My Keys Pro is the programming guide you use for your AD programmer, whether it be MVP, T code, Smart Pro, or the combination of all. The My Keys Pro login right here at the upper right hand corner of the page. Is simply clicked on and then you enter in your registered email address and your password and then you can see what's supported and what's needed. We had a locksmith last week that he uses this all the time and he tried to log in. He hovered over this login icon. He was not able to click on it so he reached out to us and I said well let me go look and I had the same experience. Now here's where you can go down the wrong path. I had forgotten that about a year ago I had the same issue. And thankfully, I remembered that you have to go to your browser because this is a browser issue. It's not actually a D software issue. And that's that's the tip I wanted to share with you. Go up to the top of the browser. By the way, this is Google Chrome. Might be a little different on, on a different browser. But basically, you're looking for your settings. So these three vertical lines we're going to click on, it's going to give us a drop down list. We go to settings. We scroll down to privacy and security. And what we want to do is clear the cache. That will resolve this issue. But be careful because you may not want to clear all the information. So this right hand arrow, we want to click on it. And I would suggest just unchecking the browsing history and the cookies and other site data because you really don't need to clear those. That's not going to resolve this. We want to go to the cache. Once we clear that data, then we can move on, close out this screen, and we can go back to the login icon, and we'll be able to simply click on it. Now you can see I have um, saved my information on the browser itself. You can do the same thing, or you can just leave it blank. What you're gonna be filling in is your registered email address and your password that you chose when you first registered your account. And then you can sign in and see what's supported and what's needed and move on from there. So that's my tip for today. It, it concludes our time together. I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you for watching.